In this video, we'll be looking for some VLOOKUP rules. Let's see those one by one. Now, on the screen, if you see, I have some data written here. The top products, product code, quantity is the same data which I've used earlier. Now, if you see, mobile is repeated n number of times, that is three times in the column. And if I want to find out the mobile value or mobile price, I'll type a function here, that is VLOOKUP equal to VLOOKUP. That's lookup value, comma, that's my table array, comma, four, comma, zero. So if I press enter, let's see what is the value I'll get is, I'll get 26.95. But what about the other two mobile, that is mobile here, that is mobile, which is 28.95 and some value which is 20.95. Now the very first rule which is about the VLOOKUP, lookup value should be unique in the column. There should not be a duplicate value. It should be always a unique number, right? Unique value in this place. So if it is repeated 12, twice or thrice, it will give some error messages. So always understand, you see I've written here, lookup value should be unique in the column. Next rule is you can find out values if this is the, on the left hand side you can find out on the right hand side. That means lookup can go from left to right but you cannot go from right to left. That is the second rule. right? So left to right is possible whereas right to left is not possible. So that is a limitation or you can say as rule of a VLOOKUP. Third one is lookup value should be belong to the first column of the table array. Now if you see that is my lookup value. It belongs to the first column of the table array. So let's see if I want to calculate using a product code, I want to find out a price. So I'll type here a product code. I'll just copy paste rather than typing. And I'll type here VLOOKUP. That's my lookup value, comma. And here is my table array. Now, I, if you see the third rule, it says lookup value should belong to the first column of table array. So this is my lookup value. It should belong to the first column of the table array. So if you see the red color lines and the dancing ends, so from here I have selected my table. So this is my first column. And if you put here comma 4, now, now the column index number becomes as 1, 2 and 3. So I'll put here as 3 comma 0. And I'll close the bracket. So I'm expecting the answer for this one as 26.95. Right, I've got the answer as 26.95. So these are three rules about this VLOOKUP. The very first one is VLOOKUP value should be uh, unique in the column. Second rule is you can go from left to right but not from right to left. And third rule is your lookup value should belong to the first column of the table array. So I hope you understood all the rules about the VLOOKUP. That's all for this video.